Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen? This is David Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. Today I want to share with you th the three most important ways to drain and detoxify your lymphatic fluids uh, from toxins and impurities. So your lymphatic system is extremely important and the lymphatic system is often overlooked by other parts of the body because it's kind of, it doesn't really have a connection or it doesn't seem to have a connection uh, to your health and well-being and the different organs and tissues in your body. Um, but it's extremely important. We think of our heart, we think of our liver and our colon, we think of all these organs and systems and, and glands within our body that we talk about. We, we don't think about some of the big systems like the lymphatic system which is really runs throughout the whole body and it's extremely important for health and well-being and it's often called the second circulatory system because it runs throughout the entire body and it takes up a lot of volume in our body. So it's extremely important. Uh, the only difference between the circulatory system and the lymphatic system is the circulatory system has your heart uh, as its uh, energy source, if you will. So the heart pumps blood and it keeps the circulation moving, whereas the lymphatic system does not have that. We need to stimulate that movement. We need to stimulate that uh, detoxification, that movement, that life force and that vitality in our lymphatic system in order to, to have a robust, active, healthy, uh, healthy lymphatic system, healthy lymph tissue, healthy lymph nodes, uh, re reduction in inflammation in our lymph nodes and within our lymphatic tissue, uh, reduction in toxic buildup uh, in the lymphatic tissue and things of that nature. So it's really important to understand the lymphatic system is extremely important and I would say that uh, if you are having problems sleeping or you feel sluggish or uh, you just don't feel like yourself, you feel like your body just is kind of becoming like almost stagnant, uh, your lymphatic system, lymphatic tissue really needs to be revamped. And a lot of times, uh, different organs within the body, whether it be the liver or the kidneys or uh, the circulatory system or the nervous system or whatever it may be, can be directly impacted by the lymphatic system because the lymphatic system if it is stagnant and is not detoxifying properly, it's not properly hydrated, it's not properly uh, moving, those toxins build up in the lymphatic system, which once again the lymphatic uh, tissue runs throughout the entire body, uh, and that will leak into the bloodstream, that will leak into different organs and systems and glands, and it will cause toxicity and stagnation in other organs and systems within the body uh, that affect your health and well-being in other ways. So it's important to understand that within health and well-being there's there's systems which are, you know, like for example, the cardiovascular system is a system, uh, the digestive system is a system, uh, and the, the brain and cognitive, uh, you know, systems. Uh, so there's different like systems. So there's kind of like three, if you will, like the brain, cardiovascular, uh, and, and digestive. But then there's obviously joints and things in circulation that run through our our four limbs, our hands and, and or excuse me, our arms and legs. So uh, systems, your lymphatic system runs through all those systems, so that's why it's so important. Uh, and like I said, it doesn't have a heart to pump that circulation uh, in order to move it, to detoxify, to bring hydration and nourishment and nutrition to the lymphatic system. So there's three key elements that are extremely important if you want to have a healthy lymphatic system that drains the toxins and that is uh, hydrated uh, and not stagnant and moves uh, properly so that you feel energized and you sleep well and all the, the benefits that come from that. So the very first thing that you should be paying attention to if you want to have a healthy lymphatic system is to stay hydrated. The word lymphatic actually comes from the word, uh, the Latin word lymphaticus, uh, which means connected to water. So the lymphatic system, the lymphatic tissue, literally means uh, in Latin connected to water. So when you think of your lymphatic system, the first thing you should think is water. Because it is mostly water, it's very hydrated, it's very water-based liquid tissue. Uh, just like your circulation, your blood is you know, water, your lymphatic system is, is as well. So the first thing you want to do to stimulate your lymphatic system, uh, to move your lymphatic system, to drain the toxins from your lymphatic system is to get hydrated. Uh, that means avoiding things that, uh, that cause uh, your body to dehydrate itself, such as soda, uh, some teas, uh, caffeine, things that uh, pull water out of your body, which are all the, which are known as diuretics, and, and reduce those, and then increase water intake. And that's not to say you can't have any of those. Like I drink tea quite often, but I also drink a lot of water. Uh, and certain teas and herbs, it depends on the tea and herb, which is a diuretic and which isn't. But um, you know, and it's caffeine and things like that. But a lot of uh, those different things, fruit juices, sodas, caffeine, coffee, teas, things like that. They're diuretics and they pull water from your body. So you feel like you're getting hydrated, but it's actually pulling water from your body. Uh, it's anything sugary as well. So you have to start reducing those and drinking more water to give your lymphatic tissue the hydration it needs. And I have noticed a lot of different people that 
if they don't have like high energy levels or they don't uh, feel good uh, cognitively, mentally, physically, uh, typically dehydration is a huge cause of that. Uh, the majority of the population is dehydrated. I mean, we, we barely drink water anymore. And even if you do drink enough water, you may drink a lot of things that are diuretics that dehydrate your body and pull water from your body. And you're in a state of chronic dehydration and you don't even know it. So uh, your lymphatic tissue needs water. A uh, good rule of thumb is to drink approximately 50% of your body weight in ounces of water each day. What, I'm, what I mean by that is if you, uh, for example, weigh 150 pounds, drink 75 ounces of water each day. If you weigh 100 pounds, drink 50 pounds of, uh, uh, 50 ounces, 50 pounds, 50 ounces of water each day. If you weigh 200 pounds, drink 100 ounces of water each day. So basically take your weight, divide it in half, and that's how many ounces you should be drinking each day as a minimum. If you live in a warm or humid climate uh, in the southern hemisphere, or you're working out and you're sweating a lot, or you go in the sauna, or any type of heat thermal therapy uh, that induces sweat, or you know on the job, or whatever it may be in a warm climate, you need to drink even more because you're losing those fluids, so you need to replenish them at an even, an even higher rate, so maybe 60% or 70% of your body weight in ounces of water each day, uh, but at least 50% as a minimum. Uh, the second thing you need to do is to move, is to exercise. Your lymphatic system needs to move and it needs to be stimulated by movement. Uh, movement is life, movement is energy, movement is growth. I mean, look at nature, nature doesn't stay still. Nature has trees, plants, shrubs, grass, and everything in between, and all of those things are constantly moving, growing, evolving, and growing towards the sun. So, uh, as a human being, if you're just sitting at home on your couch watching TV or movies or whatever it may be all day, your body's going to become stagnant. And your lymphatic system, lymphatic system and lymphatic tissue are going to become stagnant. And a, a byproduct or side effect of that is your lymph nodes are going to start to be inflamed and you're going to have tension in your neck, in the back of your neck, and your head, and your sinuses, and your entire body, and you're not going to be able to, uh, you're not going to feel loose and free, you're going to feel really plugged up, really stuck, really stagnant, uh, and really sluggish, which obviously you don't want if you want health, vitality, and, and energy, and a healthy, uh, active life, uh, movement is crucial. So uh, walking is one of the best things you can do for health and well-being, a huge proponent of walking, I can go literally on and on for like an hour about the health benefits of walking. Uh, the recent video I made about walking barefoot, I love that type of, those type of types of topics. Watch that video, walking barefoot, walking with shoes on too, but walking barefoot, walking in nature. Just walking is a great way to stimulate the lymphatic system as well as balance your energy fields uh, and get that natural rhythm flowing, which is right, left, right, left, right, left. It's kind of like resetting your energetic systems within the body as well, uh, your cardiovascular system and, and other nervous systems and things like that, and, and negative ions and things like that uh, if you're walking barefoot. Uh, so just walk. Walk. Um, jogging is okay. Uh, there's some downsides to that, bad joints long term, uh, you're actually shrinking your cardiovascular system, your heart and your lungs by doing long distance running. So I recommend more high intensity training or walking, either or. Jogging here there is okay, it's not going to kill you obviously, it's still beneficial, but uh, sprinting or walking is great because you're really extending and, and getting out of breath which is beneficial, but then walking is great too because you are giving your body that regular routine and rhythm. One of the best exercises for lymphatic system drainage and, and detoxification is rebounding. It's those little trampolines, and I'll link up one right below this video. It's those little trampolines that you just jump up and down, and it really just, uh, you're jumping up and down, and it's causing your cells to actually kind of do this. It's causing your cells to kind of uh, uh, massage, if you will, and then and move, and just kind of like lightly detoxify each time you jump. So jumping is very beneficial in general, but on a little rebounder tramp. Pulling is even more beneficial because it's not going to affect your joints long term and it's giving your body cushion and like it's kind of a soft, ease, easing, easing way into exercise. So uh, other benefits, the, th the third way to detoxify and drain your lymphatic system and lymphatic tissue is breathing properly. And that is something I need to work on personally. I think that's something uh, really all human beings need to work on unless you're like a Buddhist monk in the, you know, in the hills of Tibet or whatever, uh, or a Tibetan monk in the hills of Tibet or a Buddhist monk, you know, whatever. It, it, if you don't practice meditation or yoga, uh, it's understanding breath work is really difficult. And I've done some meditation and yoga and I do more meditation than, than yoga, but it's still difficult for me to focus on breath work. Like, even in this video, I'm talking very quickly and I'm taking short breaths. So I need to learn to slow down and breathe deeper. So 
what it comes down to is breathing deeper. So deep breathing is extremely important to detoxify and drain the lymphatic system. And what's really interesting is that laughter uh, causes the thoracic duct, which is the largest lymphatic uh, vessel, uh, to it causes it puts negative pressure on that uh, duct, D-U-C-T, and it causes that to be able to drain 10 to 15 times uh, more than if you didn't laugh. So basically laughter, what laughter does is it uh, causes you to take deeper breaths and uh, that laughter stimulation plus the deeper breaths put apply that negative pressure to the thoracic duct which is the largest lymphatic vessel which allows you to drain lymphatic and detox lymphatic fluids 10 to 15 times faster than if you didn't laugh at all. So uh, laughter is literally a hack uh, in, in uh, detoxifying and draining your lymphatic system quickly, effectively, and literally the fastest way you can. So hydration, movement and exercise, and deep breathing with a lot of laughter, which is really four ways, uh, are the best ways to drain, the best and fastest ways to drain and detoxify lymphatic fluids and toxins as quickly and as efficiently as possible. And there are other ways as well. So. I'll link up an article below with more ways to detoxify and drain lymphatic fluids as well as the article with the three main ways that explain it in more detail. So uh, take care of your lymphatic system, exercise, drink more water, breathe deeply, and laugh more often. Uh, and I will see you in the next video. Make sure to live healthy, wild, and free. Please like, favorite, comment, and share this video if you learned something below. Subscribe for future videos, and I'll see you on the website at healthywildandfree.com. Bye.